So with that nicely now cut out, we want to sort of cut around the edges as you can see with that uh, marked out in red. The only problem is with doing that is obviously we've got this really sort of faith, uh, wafer thin piece of um, resin and that is probably most likely going to break. But luckily there is a part on this that actually goes underneath here. So before we start trimming this off, let's get out some super glue and um, actually glue this into place. Now what you probably want to do is go off and get um, something scrap. Um, you know, I've, I normally use like a cotton wool bud lid. Because right, when it comes to super glue, um, it's not best to sort of just pour it out straight on there. It's, it's, it's actually best to sort of, you know, pour it out on something scrap piece of plastic like this. Right, and it's oozing out a bit. So let's just get a quick kitchen paper towel. Very quickly wipe the end. Don't keep it on there too long because it'll glue. Put the lid back on. That should be good for another go. And then what we want to do is get out uh, you can get out a cocktail stick or you can actually get out um, uh, where is it now we've got some actual sort of um, super glue applicators which we've got just here it's got like two little prongs on there we can probably use this one right and what we can do is just around the edges here we can apply a bit of this super glue Right, we don't need a lot to sort of start with. Right, we can apply some more in a bit. Right, and we just want to get this lined up before the super glue sets. The only thing is with using super glue is, um, you know, it does set really quickly. So if you haven't got it lined up perfectly the way you want, um, you know it can sort of set too quickly and then you've got to sort of break it and stuff and then I'm just going to come in um, with a bit of our super glue just on the underside just very precisely getting it around the edges all nice and neatly right and that should lock that down really really well there is also something else you could use if you want to sort of speed things up you can come along and use some um, vital bond um, it's a super glue activator basically you just spray it where we've applied our super glue then we can sort of blow and it really sort of dries really quickly and that's sort of good to go then we can now with that in place that there is going to lock that in and make that less less brittle so we can now start cutting around basically what the way i've just shown you cutting around the sides getting that piece good as well as any other pieces that are like that it then brings us to um, the next stage which is um, doing some um, sort of all the different bits of cutting and sawing that we could do Here's another example. We've got our exhaust here. Now we need to, as you can see in red, cut around here. Um, good way to do this is to use some form of a, um, a hobby saw. Um, I've got all sorts of saws in here. Um, we've got these, uh, who are these by now? The MK um m m c kits.com nice little micro razor saw these are good as well we've got this bigger saw here as well and what we want to basically do right is we want to sort of saw right on our line or if say you're new to this maybe not right onto the line but maybe sort of um saw you know maybe a couple of mil away from the line and then sand it down slowly at the end if you're not feeling like you you're as competent with this but you know if you're feeling good about your sawing a nice straight line right you could just go around and all i'm doing is i'm going around and i'm turning the piece and sawing at the same time right and we're just making a nice little shallow cut Right, but instead of sort of going all the way through and just sawing all the way down, um, that can sort of lead to mistakes. I find it's better to sort of turn this as we saw, right? And by the time we've gone round once, you'll start to see the saw will just start to go sort of basically all the way through, as it's just starting to do now. Right, so then we sort of go round, there we go, see it just goes pop. And we just go around slowly 
and there we go that just cuts it off rather rather nicely then you might want to come around with um, sanding stick I use, like to use a nice um, flat sanding stick put it on the table and we can sort of sand this on here just just lightly just to sort of get any rough bits from actually sawing this right and then we should have you know a pretty half decent cut going on just there again um, you know this is resin we're sawing we're making all sorts of dust you want extractor fans on you want face masks on and um, I mean if you can and maybe a little bit of water on the saw while you're sawing or sanding and it just clogs it all up and stops it from going up in the air and you're breathing it in next one here we've got the ejector seat now with the ejector seat I mean it's a little bit sort of tricky to sort of get in there because we've got this big block in the way um, so what we could do here is um, maybe not go right up um, to the detail with the saw but to actually bring the saw down and sort of leave a bit of that resin in place and just get rid of this big block um, and, th and this is just so that we don't damage um, any detail so if you ever come across those really sort of detail bits like you know these these ejector seats you know they're full of all sorts of detail right we can just saw it and leave that little bit now it might not be a bad idea not to just saw all the way through but maybe to come in from you know all the different sides right and just saw down a bit and just keep on rotating it um, that way all right, it's going all the way through not necessarily always the best thing because you could come in a slightly different angle and stuff just find it works better this way as you can see we've now got rid of that big block and we've just got a little bit just there which um, normally you've got these really sort of thin bits just here I mean we could if you really want to you can sort of just cut them off with a blade because um, resin can be quite easy to cut so if you want to sort of have a go at doing that right but then we do have this sort of big block piece just here this you can again you know soar a bit more once you feel happy and comfortable or just give it a really good sanding but you really want to be careful because when you're holding this you might not realize that oh we've got this little tiny sort of uh, i think this is the ejection pull handle or something we got that you could be sort of cutting away underneath here press down it does snap really really quick uh, really really easily so really before you start handling it really look for those sort of those kind of things so you so you don't break them and if you do break them you know put them to one side ready to be sort of glue black on later so all this resin is is nicely coming together now our copy you know is starting to to, to look rather good with everything in there now with this kit um we have this nasty problem of removing this part from uh, the actual you know plastic itself um, and really you want to try and cut it as best as you can because the whole point is is that our resin piece is going to come in replace it and if we've just hacked it and whatnot we're gonna to have to do all sorts of filling and sanding around that area so um, there's several ways you could go about this um, we do have things like our um, uh, P cutters here we could come in right where we need to sort of cut it we can just slowly start to use the P cutter to cut into the past plastic and as you can see it's just like removing bits of plastic right and we just keep on going and going until we get through now what you want to be doing is um, you don't want to cut too much of this way we don't want to be um, cutting down like so right if we cut down like so we're going to be removing most of the plastic right if we cut it from this angle right we're going to end up leaving a little bit of a lip and that lip is going to be potentially important for our resin piece to sit on um, better we have the lip there to see if it needs to sit on it um, than to cut it away and oh, it may be needed it and whatnot I mean we can cut this at different stages but it's best to keep as much of it uh, as we possibly can so we can sort of cut through with our pea cutter and we sort of just keep cutting through that until we start feeling like you know we sort of got through a fair fair bit 
and then we can come in with maybe the blade and just keep on scoring it across and and it's just uh, you know it's a bit of a patience game just keep on slowly slowly cutting it um, until you sort of basically cut it off um, and this is all about just trying to get the best cut possible um, just don't come in with like big clippers and just start hacking away at it and all this kind of stuff um, you know you don't you don't want to risk sort of ruining this because it's going to take a bit of filling as I say and sanding and scribing and all that so I'm going to carry on with this just to sort of show you where I am with this because it is um, a little bit tricky um, as you can see where I've um, where it was red um, was where I drawed the line and as you can see I've sort of really sort of cut into it so we've got this quite a bit of a lip here like two maybe three million places and that little lip is what our piece of resin is gonna sit on now as you can see it doesn't fit right this lip needs to be made smaller um, but my point is is if we cut down to where it was red uh, and cut down we wouldn't have a lip and this would just sort of just fall through and it wouldn't have anything to sit on so it's best that we kind of have a nice big lip and now we can just start to sort of shave this away right so if we keep just shaving this away until we've got the lip at the perfect size for our piece to sit on right then it's going to save us all sorts of filling sanding scribing um, potentially adding plaster card and and stuff like that to sort of get this to fit now what you want to be doing is sort of you know you cut off a nice little bit right okay see how it's going right let's cut some more right and just shave off a bit test fit shave off a bit test fit and you just keep doing that until you've got it um, just perfect so we've got our instrument display panel you know fitting in there and sitting there rather rather cool um, now with all things pretty much resin and cockpits um, there's a lot of sanding and test fitting to do because um, what we've now got is we've got our cockpit tub now this is got to go here um, and it just doesn't quite fit it sort of really sort of starts to push the plastic um, out so it needs to go here I'll just show you I'll just show you because when you look at the instructions the instructions really don't help in showing you exactly where these things go so um, this is where you want it to go you've just got um, it's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle in a sense right as you can tell, I'm going to have to push this in, right? But it's right here. You can just see exactly, you know, where it needs to go because it's shaped the same, the plastic and the resin, right? And that's where it wants to go. But to get that to fit into there, we need to um, just sand off um, these little walls just here, right? Now, this is... Um, a sort of a bit of a risky part um, a lot of times whenever I fit a resin cockpit what normally happens is is we have to shave off these sides so you know we can come along quite nicely and just start to sand away at these sides right so that it fits that little bit better but the problem is is you'll sand so far and you'll start sanding through and I'll just show you on the top cam just here um, I sanded this bottom bit and you can see that the light is really shining through um, just underneath here right and that's because I've basically sanded that so much on this side um, that it's just it's very very wafer thin now on the bottom and that's what we've got to be careful when sanding these um, side bits is that we don't go too far so you really want to be sort of you know give it a good sand and just check that you're not going through too much right and you just sort of go pretty much as far as you can really i mean um the thinner we sort of make these sides the easier it's going to sort of fit in um just just don't go too far with it so i'm gonna um basically just spend a load of time doing some sanding test fit here you know and you just want to be constantly sort of just you know before we do any photo etch gluing painting weathering or anything like that we just we want to make sure all this resin fits because um 
it, it's just it, it, it's just the nature of, of of resin it really for some reason they don't make them fit which is a bit of a a pain really but um again sand in test fit and you'll eventually get there um luckily with this kit um the only real thing we've had to sort of sort out with the plastic end of things is just um where the the instrument display panel was it's not too hard if you take your time but um yeah i mean really the only thing i can say is just take your time and just do it slowly and just keep test fitting um and just remember you're dealing with resin get those face masks on um because it is it is damaging to your health um if you do um sort of be sanding this and you're not putting a face mask on and all that kind of stuff so um, face masks on test fit all the way so that's all sitting there nice and snug after loads of test fitting and sanding um you know you want it to basically sit i mean if you can get it so it just sits in there where it can just sit in there by itself it's not really pushing on the sides it's holding itself in there absolutely perfect and um, hopefully you can sort of see i really did um sand that almost to um to to wait for fin it's even got a slight little hole in there that i'm not too worried about because i've sanded it just slightly a little bit too much i'm not going to worry about that too much but you know that's that's what you've kind of got to deal with when doing this um the next thing is um we've got this piece here that's going to go on the back area um, now we need to get um this nice lovely bit of resin um, to go in here nicely but to do that we have got to sort of remove this part again the instructions they are kind of terrible they're really not clear on what you need to do um, i've really had to sort of do loads and loads of test fitting to see how it actually goes but basically what we want to do is again we need to sort of cut these pieces out as nicely as possible so what i'm doing is just with the cutters i'm getting rid of the main bits of this right as you can see there and i'm just cutting it a bit at a time i'm not going to come hacking in going right up to the edges right just a bit at a time yeah slowly slowly getting closer and closer and when you can't get any more with the pliers don't try and get in there with the pliers right we don't want to be you know cracking the plastic or anything like that right we can just start coming in with like say a blade something like that right so i'm going to just leave that at that and then what we can do is start coming in with the blade and you don't want to be hacking right up again right to where you want it to be right it's better to just shave it off a bit at a time slowly sort of working your way towards where we need to get just shave a bit off at a time right it just makes the job much more neater and better and it, it stops any risks of um, sort of really cutting into it